Right now this morning, the Johnson County Jail is on lockdown after eight of its inmates tested positive for coronavirus. CBS Sports Lexa Green is live in the newsroom with us right now, showing you when all this unfolded and what the jail plans to do today to help prevent any further spread. AG, a bit of an interesting situation here. It certainly is. Good morning to you, Nick. Today and tomorrow, we're told inmates at the Johnson County Jail, they're going to receive the single dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. But the jail, as you mentioned, does remain on lockdown this morning for the safety and security of the facility and to make sure the virus doesn't spread. Now, it was last May that the jail was dealing with really a similar situation. That outbreak, though, it was much bigger. The sheriff telling us in May of 2020, nearly half of the population inside the building had contracted COVID-19. Now, John, the Johnson County Jail wasn't the only facility dealing with these kinds of challenges during the pandemic. All around the country's jails, detention centers, and prisons have been some of the most dangerous places. And a new report this morning by the New York Times says over the past year, more than 1,400 new New inmate infections and seven deaths on average have been reported inside those facilities each and every day. In fact, the Times reports the virus has killed prisoners at higher rates than the general population per 100 people. And it's not just inmates. We're talking about prison and jail correctional officers. They too are getting sick. So far, 261 have died. That also according to the New York Times. Back here at home, we have reached out to the Johnson County Sheriff to find out when they expect that lockdown to be lifted at the jail. We will let you know when we hear back. Ange.